The government will have all of the safety reports required and a safety report from Lloyd's Register also. This is the important thing to understand. What the government is doing is maturing the proposals which are going to be put for safety assessment. There is no point pretending that you can get a safety report simply because you are going to set out some mechanism to do LNG storage and regasification in a particular area. You actually have to have the technical designs, you have to mature all of the thinking before you can go for that. And what we have said consistently, and what Mr. Fetum does not seem to want to understand, is that we've gone to the top people in the world on this, which is the Health and Safety Laboratory, which is part of the Health and Safety Executive in the United Kingdom. In order to ensure that people are not affected by the infection of, of fear that the GSD want to spread, what we've said is, well, you say GSD, that the Lloyd's Register people are the, the people to use for this purpose, we will also go to Lloyd's Register. So Chief Minister, are you confirming that Lloyd's will actually be carrying out your safety report? Exactly, that's exactly what I'm confirming. Because look, you really demonstrate that you do not know nothing about what you are talking about if you pretend that Lloyd's Register are just doing a scoping report. Well, Chief Minister, they actually didn't know themselves. Lloyd's told GBC that it was hoping to get the business. Hang on a minute. The safety reports are already being done, or will be done, by the Health and Safety Laboratory. The additional report for which they are scoping now, the additional report for which they are scoping now, is a report the government is going to obtain from them. Because you see, the GSD have said they are the people who they consider to be the reference point, and have scared people with the disgraceful misuse of the report that they have made, which Spark funded for them, having given uh, Lloyd's uh, plan that clearly was never going to succeed with the government. And so in order to ensure that people are not at all scared by that, we are also obtaining, in addition to the report we were always going to obtain, which you cannot obtain until you have the final matured proposal, a report from Lloyd's Register. That's what they are scoping for now, for the report that they are also going to prepare. So there is no safety report yet? No. There could not be a safety report yet. There could not be a serious safety report undertaken by anyone until you have the mature proposal. That is like uh, asking me on the first day of work in respect of the power station up at Lathbury, which the GSD were doing, do you have the EIA, Do you have the Environmental Impact Assessment, do you have the safety report for the Lathbury proposal? People would say, look, you cannot do this until you have matured the proposal. And the safety report is going to tell you how to do it best, because we're never going to put something that is not going to pass a safety report. So with the people with whom we are working, we know it is going to be possible to do this. The question is, how much more safely are we going to be able to do it? How much safer are we going to be able to make it? Well, the government accuses the GST of scaremongering, but yet you said that the report had been very heavily reducted. And now Spark has published it in total, it says, and it appears that this isn't the case. No, I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. Uh, there is nothing to suggest that the Lloyd's report has not been redacted. All that has happened is that Spark have published what they say is the report, and Lloyd's, because of confidentiality issue, are not able, not able to say more. But there is absolutely no question of us accepting that that report is exactly as it was when it emanated from Lloyd's Register. And I know that the gap analysis has been done by Lloyd's Register, looking at what has been published by Spark and what they prepared. You don't do a gap analysis if everything has been published. So I can tell you that actually the GSD is far from off the hook on this issue. Well, surely if, as Lloyd said, the scoping report won't be ready till at least September, the project will be delayed. Not at all. The project is going to come on stream in the time scale that we anticipated and without there being any further delays. Look, people are, are saying this is going to happen before the election, etc. Of course it's going to happen before the election. The power station will be on the road to being built. It will have commenced as a process that will be irreversible. And that is the power station that we're going to have because we know it's going to be the best power station for Gibraltar's future. So you will build a power station without a safety report? No, Christine, I'm telling you that there will be the safety reports, plural, with an S, and the power station will be able to go ahead before them. But let's be very clear. What the GSD has now said, what Mr. Fetum has now said, is that he will campaign on one platform. It's going to be one platform for the election. Not many, one. And it is no to LNG. That means the GSD is saying no to LNG bunkering, the future of bunkering, no to 
big cruise ships coming to Gibraltar, which are powered by LNG. So reducing the number of passengers that will come to Gibraltar, not being able to service those ships when they're in port. No to the cleanest of the fossil fuels that we can burn for a new power station for Gibraltar, but saying yes to grimy, smelly diesel. Grimy, smelly diesel. Well, actually, that acronym is actually GSD. That's what they're going to be about at the next election. They're going to be about burning that dirty fuel next to people's homes. We're going to be about ensuring that we have the safest power station for the next 30 years, the most environmentally efficient power station for the next 30 years, and that we're going to be an important player in the bunkering market, the biggest bunkering port in the Mediterranean, which we can only do if we continue to provide the services required by that industry, i.e. LNG bunkering. Chief Minister, can you confirm that safety reports will be published before you start building the power station? It is absolutely our intention to be able to start the construction of the power station with all of the necessary reports, and I consider these to be necessary, published and ready for our, or having been assessed by all the relevant bodies. So if you start building the power station with a safety report, the Lloyd safety report would not be ready before the election according to um, the public relations officer of Lloyds who said that the scoping report would be ready by September at the very least. Are you talking about health and safety laboratory safety reports? No, you are assuming that the date of the election might be so close to September that it would not be possible to have the safety report prepared and you're assuming that a safety report takes a very long time after a scoping report has been prepared as if you couldn't be preparing the safety report whilst the scoping report has been prepared. Both of those assumptions, I, I put it to you, are wrong open to perhaps changing the location, it, Lloyds has confirmed that the risk can't be eliminated. So the power station next to a hospital, next to residential areas, is the government open to this? Look, the, what Lloyds is talking about is the inability to eliminate risk, not just in relation to, to LNG, but in everything in life. So elimination of risk to zero, zero, zero is impossible in everything we do in the modern And because world. it is impossible, wouldn't you want it further away from the population? Of course we would want it as further away as needs to be necessary to reach the level of risk required. We have made the assessment with the experts that advise us that that is the safe place to put it, and we will put it there. That's where the power station is going to be. The issue of location is not about the power station. It's about the gas storage and regasification facility. And the location proposed by Spark was the wrong location, which nobody had ever thought of proposing to the government, let alone to an organization like Lloyd's. What we are looking at are different potential locations for the storage and regasification facility for LNG. And on that, we do have an open mind and we're working with uh, the GEA professionals and those who are making proposals to us under the PIN, the Public Information Notice for the Supply of Gas, to ensure that the gas storage and regasification facilities in the best of the possible areas close to the power station. Mr. Picardo, what would you say to um, accusations that the government is set in its ways because it will not do anything that GSD had decided to do? That that is absolutely and complete nonsense. We are here to do what is best for Gibraltar. I am interested not in the GSD, the GSLP or the Liberal Party. I'm interested in the future of Gibraltar. This is a national strategic asset for the next three, four generations. We have to get it right. The GSD got it completely wrong in relation to Lathbury. You need high-powered hydraulic pumps to get diesel fuel up to Lathbury. You need to change a lot of our roads. The, the logistics of Lathbury are impossible. It was the wrong decision, not because the GSD proposed it, because when you look at it objectively, it was absolutely wrong. It made no provision for LNG bunkering. The future of bunkering is down the LNG route. This is about the future prosperity of Gibraltar the safety of our population and having a secure supply of electricity for the next 30 years. I'm going to make sure that we make the right decision about that, not because of the initials of the party that we represent, but I certainly don't want to go down the road of burning grimy, smelly diesel for the next 30 years.